when we are stopped the access of the father to talk with the son so you know um, every time he wants to so if they were talking say more frequently earlier she cut down the frequency and uh, most of the time refused to you know come on the line on some pretext or the other for the first time sushant singh rajput has started taking some medicines the family doesn't know what medicines he was taking which doctor she was going to you know so she conjured up a situation where she could uh, uh, you know sort of make him uh, uh, feel that there is something wrong with him and taking him to a doctor and she used to always threaten him that i'll make your medical record public so that was the threat which you know he could not take very strong action against her ek to she is hiding of course i know where she is hiding but i don't want to tell you that but she is hiding we came to know that 17 crore came into the account and 15 crore went out now you must appreciate that not a single property was bought nor was any big car purchase or any big purchase that so where did this money go sushant singh rajput's death sent shock waves in the nation and the industry at large our people have been asking and calling out for justice for sushant and we have his family lawyer vikas singh joining us for a conversation only on singh villa a presenting his side of the story and his family side of the story uh welcome sir to pink villa and thank you for doing this um it is much needed at this hour especially sir firstly i want to ask you that the fir that has been filed by uh shushant's father um you you are the one who you know you who was uh, also involved in the fir that is being filed it completely gave the case a new angle which was um not what was being investigated and now it's it's in the other direction where it's being called an abetment to suicide um what was uh, sushant's father's claims and how uh, how would you put it out as a lawyer well i'll tell you uh, in this case uh, on the 25th of february itself the family had uh, messaged the dcp bandra that sushant singh is in bad company and those uh, message you must have seen it has been out yes. in the yes i have seen and uh, that uh, action be taken and uh, it should be ensured that you know no harm is caused to him now the police mumbai police is saying now that uh, we asked for a written complaint since written complaint did not come we could not take any of take any cognizance now this written complaint business is completely alien to criminal law because every crime that is committed the crime is against the state yeah but the job of anybody to ask that you register a case it is the job of the state to register the case on its own now when a crime is committed whatever source the state may get this information is immaterial the moment they know that there is a crime likely to be committed or when it is actually committed the state on its own has to register an fir so when the death ultimately happened which was what the family you know Uh, had um, um, said that he is in some danger they didn't realize that he will commit suicide uh, that yeah. was something which was not in the comprehension of the family at all so when the death happened now with that complaint of the 25th of february complaint the only logical thing for the police was to do was to uh, investigate the people who were responsible for the death which is what the family had said on the 25th of february and i'm so glad that the family didn't make a complaint to the mumbai police then because if they because they were not they were not getting cooperation from february itself so there was no point of making a complaint to them so they didn't make a complaint and they were waited and just wait to see what the mumbai police does and in those 40 days when the father was in mourning they saw that everybody from bollywood is being called for interrogation or in, or investigation and the actual people who were part of the ecosystem of sushant singh rajput and who yeah. could easily i mean a common person even you and i as as laymen can say that they are the people who should be examined first i mean they will be the persons who people who are living with them people who are controlling his medicine people who you know they are giving them medicine then riya leaves him on the 8th of uh, june then blocks him etc so those are the people or or disha salyan's death if had if it had any link with sushant singh rajput those were the things which needed to be investigated Mumbai police does not register an FIR. Starts an inquest. Now, inquest in 174 is only to find out the cause of death and to find out if there is any suspicious circumstance. So, even for an inquest, Bollywood can't be called. There is no way you can call the whole of Bollywood and examine them. You know, as if uh, they are all involved in. Uh, if there is a cognizable offence, there was no cognizable offence in that inquest. 
Now, in the inquest, when you don't do an inquiry with regard to people who are around him, that Pathani Achyap who was supposed to be there when you saw yeah. the story hanging, etc. Et and uh, then we uh, got the FIR raised. Then the family contacted me and we realized that Mumbai will never give us justice because there appears to be some collusion. So we got the FIR registered in Patna. Now, thereafter, what you have seen that has happened is complete mockery of the criminal justice system. The police firstly is not given any cooperation. So you don't register an FIR yourself and you don't give cooperation to the police from Patna. Now, since day before yesterday, what has happened is absolutely shocking. In this entire pandemic, I have not seen any state impeding or you know so not permitting, for instance, the income tax from doing a raid or enforcement directed from doing a raid or CBI doing a raid or police doing a raid. Because the moment you do that, in the garb of COVID or in the garb of quarantine, you are directly wanting to help the accused. Because who will stand to benefit? If the Patna police is not able to investigate for 15 days, then the accused will get more time to tamper with the evidence. So it was a very clear case where you could make out that Mumbai police is going from right from 25th February onwards till today. It is more than obvious that they don't want a fair inquiry. But sir, I... I want to know. So then I, I, I advise the family that uh, no point of you know getting into this interstate conflict. So let us give it to the let us because the CM Patna had already assured that if the father of Sushant Singh Rasput wants the matter to be referred to the CBI, he will do it. So then we thought uh, between yesterday night and today morning we took a call that we will ask the CM to refer it to CBI, and which he has now done, and hopefully the CBI will take over by the evening. Uh, sir, also what I want to know is uh, that when uh, you are saying that they had filed a complaint, the family had filed a complaint on 25th of February, um, you have uh, been talking to the family because they, they are mourning, they are grieving, uh, they have lost uh, a family member which is, which is painful. Um, I want to know what have they told you, what circumstances led them to believe that his life was in danger back in February? Yeah, so there are, you know, in a, in a offence of abetment of suicide, it is not an offence which happens over a day. It is, it, it involves a bundle of facts. Now, the bundle of facts in this case started, you know, when uh, when Ria stopped the access of the father to talk with the son. So, you know, um, every time he wants to, so if they were talking, say, more frequently earlier, she cut down the frequency and uh, most of the time refused to, you know, come on the line on some pretext or the other. When he even tried to talk to the bodyguard's phone number, even that was not you know, allowed to go through. So that was the first step. The second step was to remove all the servants and the bodyguard and the cook from the house. Yeah. Third step was, you know, taking over the bank accounts, the credit card, the PIN numbers, etc. Fourth step was, you know, starting for the first time, Sushant Singh Rajput has started taking some medicine. The family doesn't know what medicines he was taking, which doctor she was going to. You know, so she conjured up a situation where she could, uh, uh, you know, sort of make him uh, uh, feel that there is something wrong with him and taking him to a doctor. So then she started doing that. Then she started using him for her own career benefit. So she said that you only, she will, you, she used to sit in every meetings when a production house used to come. And she used to say that if he will act only if you take me in the uh, lead opposite him. So she slowly, slowly took control over his mind and his affairs and started dominating him in such a way that, you know, he, uh, and with the medicines that was being administered upon him, that control became even, you know, from bad to worse. It is ultimately on the 8th of June when probably he, he felt that he wanted to do organic farming and wanted to take a break that she realized that he was of no use to me. So that is the, I, I feel that may be the trigger point from what the family has told me. That could be the trigger point. And she walked out of the house, took all his medical record. And she used to always threaten him that I'll make your medical record public. So that was the threat which, you know, he could not take very strong action against her. So she walked away, took the medical files and uh, blocked him. So then he became even more anxious. So I think the medic, what all medicines he was going, so all this will come only in investigation. But, but when, when, he was, when he was going through all of it, when he could uh, see or you know uh, feel that Ria was completely allegedly dominating his uh, life, did he reach out to any of the family members or his friends? Did have they come out and spoken to you about it? 
he definitely reached out to the family members the family members tried to intervene also so there was a time when he came to his sister's house in uh, in, in in haryana and stayed with her for some time but after two days only she made such a big ruckus that there is some advertisement or some shooting commitment you must come back so the girl who used to make 20 30 phones in his absence and you know every minute make a phone call to him when she left him on the 8th of june she blocked him now in the uh, supreme court in the petition she says i went for a couple of days if she had gone for a couple of days whom did she tell what medicine he is taking did she hand over the file to the family members did she talk to him in those 8 days just see the call they got she has not talked to him in those uh, after the 8th to the 14th that he died because she had blocked him so i mean the, the, the story that she is making out is completely non untrue now the the worst thing which we are now apprehending is that after the fir that uh, has been registered uh, facts are coming out that probably they it may not be a case for suicide also so i don't know i mean uh, this is only if a proper investigation is done because there are now uh, stories doing the round that the post mortem was done not not that properly and normally what happens in a suicide case by hanging that i should pop out and there should be you know froth from the mouth and all that was not there in the body so i don't know it's a it's a very very serious case and it has been taken a complete uh, sort of uh, completely diverted by the mumbai police and we are very very anxious that the proper investigation be done in the matter and there were also rumors that riya uh, farar ho gayi hai par aaj maine kahin pe padha ki aaj shayad bihar police unse baat karne wali hai रिया से और उसकी स्टेटमेंट लेने वाली है क्या ये सच है इसमें मतलब इज देयर एनी ट्रूथ टू दैट वेल आई डोंट थिंक पटना पुलिस इज इन द पोजीशन टू गिव अ स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज़ जो चार तीन मेंबर्स वहां पहले से चल रहे हैं नो रिया स्टेटमेंट आर दे सपोज्ड टू टेक आई नो सो रिया स्टेटमेंट वो देने का क्वेश्चन अराइज नहीं करेगा बिकॉज़ एक तो शी इज हाइडिंग ऑफ कोर्स आई नो वेयर शी इज हाइडिंग बट आई डोंट वांट टू टेल यू दैट बट शी इज हाइडिंग एंड पटना पुलिस cannot reach there because patna police jo char member ek ko to quarantine kar diya that senior officer who came dead for yesterday and the earlier team which is already there they are you know uh, 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 trying to quarantine them also they are uh, on a lookout for them so i don't think patna police is in a position to do any more investigation in this matter and that is why the urgency for um, getting the matter referred to cbi today itself we don't want to lose a single day Sir, uh, there have been a lot of financial transactions that have been spoken about in the FIR. I read that FIR. Uh, the family has alleged that there has been a transaction of around 17 crore, if I am not wrong. But uh, now, uh, fresh reports. I read some news channel which uh, has been telling and um, uh, referring to a transaction of oh, around 50 crore. What is the truth? If you can. share with the to my knowledge of course things will come out in more in investigation because the family had no interest in his financial affairs and he was a you know person above 30 years 35 34 years old so he definitely was managing his own affairs the family had never interfered in his finances but when the mumbai police was trying to derail the investigation by calling the whole of bollywood and not even doing the proper inquest which they were supposed to do under section 174 of the crpc then before registering the fir we tried to find out at least of the finances during his uh, stay with riya and we uh, came to know that 17 crore came into the account and 15 crore went out now you must appreciate that not a single property was bought nor was any big car purchase or any big purchase done so where did this money go and and the way it has come out in the media that she was using his credit card and she knew the pin number so obviously there is some financial now, as far as the 50 crore is concerned I think that 50 crore is for the three-year period, so that also may have to be investigated. But uh, that is, I think, for the three-year period. The one-year period is 17 crore incoming and 15 crore outgoing. So one uh, one year is exactly how long uh, Sushant and Riya have been together one and one one and a half years, according to the uh, friends who have stayed with both of them. That is what I have heard. Is it true? Yes, almost one, almost one year. A little over, little over one year. there have been a lot of inconsistencies in the uh, statements given out by a few of his uh, friends whether it's sandeep singh who initially came and you know alleged that it's a suicide and uh, that he was uh, he was undergoing depression he 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 said it in a way in an interview that it's out all there uh, people have been watching it and then he went on arnab goswami show and he said that no he cannot commit suicide so um, and then there was siddharth pitani who walked out of the interview when he was asked boiling questions 
um he has given out a statement saying and there have been a lot of inconsistencies in the statements in who got him out what was the who was the first one to enter the room uh, when he was hanging how he was hanging he was hanging tilted towards the bed what is all that what has come to your uh, you know notice from all this well i'll tell you honestly i would not like to comment on that because these are very serious matters of investigation and my saying anything on that will have some uh, ramifications i would not like to comment on that i would like and my my wish list would be that the cbi take over this investigation immediately asap and get into all this uh, immediately because ultimately what they are able to find out for in their investigation because mumbai police is covering up it's a cover up job from their side so the earlier they do the better it is and i i, I want the family uh, to get justice by the truth coming out and uh, the persons who are responsible for his death be booked whether it be a betrayal to suicide or whether it be murder whatever it is uh, it should be taken but i would not like to comment on what you are asking me okay uh, <laughs> sir also 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 i want to ask you that you spoken about the medication that he was being prescribed or he was given um we have not seen the uh, doctor's document but a few uh, psychotherapists and uh, psychologists and psychiatrists have come out and spoken about it also in a similar fashion um siddharth pitani has gone and given a statement that he was the one who used to administer the medicines to him and he didn't know what medicines they were do you see that incons- inconsistency did the family have any clue about the medications that were given to their child or their brother not at all in fact that is our complaint in the fir if you read the fir it is very clear that the family was never consulted and if a person is having any mental issues there is a there is a, a 2017 act for that and in, if a person has a mental issue or there is a it is called the mental health act and in that case the family has to be consulted before you start giving any serious medication and in this case not not doing so so we were not aware of any medical condition for sushant he may have been vulnerable because he was also extremely disturbed when his mother died in 2002 but that's about it there is never there is never any problem in his mental issue and whoever has known him ankita longkhate has said she knew him for a very long time or people who knew him or even when he came to the family recently Uh, there was no issue mental mental issue at all so it was all you know sort of manufactured for the purpose of uh, taking control over him when was the last time the family actually spoke to him there was neetu singh with him uh, in those 3 4 days that uh, in the last 3 4 days before his death uh, what were the things that she was spoken to about from sushant side also siddharth pitani yesterday after the whatsapp exchanges which you said were uh you know the 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 brother in law has revealed the whatsapp exchanges which show that they have complained on 25th of february um uh, siddharth pitani has uh, sent out a series of whatsapp messages which show that uh, the brother in law who op singh uh, sir uh, has uh, sent a text to sushant saying that you know you have been extremely vulnerable and this is because of your bad uh, company and everything so don't put me and your uh, my wife in this picture what do you have to say about that and when was the last time and what was the last conversation that the family had with sushant well again these are issues you know which i'd like not like to comment but in a in a family relationship if if the family feels that he is in bad company so or what op singh what basically what he meant was i don't know if, um, that is not something which really is, is important for the investigation but what he meant was that if you don't uh, you know remove people bad company then at least uh, my wife you tell me whatever because he's a police officer he can tackle things but don't don't uh, say, say all uh, trouble about his wife and you know put her in so much of distress so it was not a situation where there was any uh, you know sort of acrimony in the family it was just a corrective measure which they all wanted that the more the more the earlier he left riya and the earlier she went out of his life the earlier he would come back to normal see that's what the family Okay, sir. And uh, what about Siddharth Pitani? Uh, the the the, the last. The family has already said he's doing a flip flop, and he's made all kind. Of, I don't know how did the Mumbai police allow him to go to uh, you know um, um, Hyderabad, and uh, you know with all the flip flop, and he's the most important witness, so to say, if you ask me. So he he really needs to be interrogated along with Riya Chakravarti. Thank you.